hey there guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today um, we are going to be doing a gun tutorial on the qq9 and um, we'll be talking about how the basics of qq9 works and what attachments attachments to use because um, in the gunsmith update the qq9 is a more reliable weapon than it was last season but it isn't the best one because of its you know really you know high recoil and high flinch you know the what do you call it the flinch stability is really low so because of that it's really hard to control but um i just wanted to talk about like the basics of the gun and like its fire rate and it's like you know the amount of time that it takes to kill someone and the damage and what are the best attachments now the qk9 itself isn't some machine gun it's a mid to close range some machine gun best for close range and is really you know a skill based weapon which um if you use it the right way you can actually get a lot of you know um, performance out of it and you can get a bunch of kills but um, it is a bit more complicated to use due to its high recoil which makes it a bit more harder for new players to you know actually use the gun so before you actually do you should learn the recoil pattern by the recoil pattern I mean like the pattern of either every gun has its own recoil pattern so it like will always go in one place um, if you like uh, in ADS it will go into one place so like if it's the QQ9 it goes up and then to the left sorry up and into the right so every time you're like you know shooting you can go from up to the bottom to actually control the recoil so what you do is you take the recoil pattern and you just inverse it and use it for like you know to control the recoil so that you do not actually like lose your recoil control that's the best way to gain re recoil control over any weapon and once you can master that like you know you're really set with the weapon with no attachments to you if you can hit every single shot that's going to be best but then if you're using it for hip fire the qq9 itself is not the best for the hip fire because it really has a really wide range of hip fire and uh, hip fire is only good if you're if there's somebody like you know really really close range and you need to sh get sh uh, get like shots on him before you actually ads onto him so you should like you know um, hip fire onto him and then you know ads onto him um, what do I mean by the recoil pattern of the QQ9? I'll show you right now in the next segment where I'll show all the um, all the basics, basic uh, you know the attachments and all. I'll just show you that within like I'll just show you that in a minute. Um, but also about the QQ9, I wanted to talk is QQ9 is one of my favorite guns, which is because it's like you know um, you know in other 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 modern warfare and all those other kind of games from COD. Um, I always used to use the MP MP5, and this one is exactly like the MP5, but just a bit more worse, and it's not as reliable as it is in the other COD games. So I just really used to love the game, but uh, sorry, the gun. But let's just um, get on with the second segment. Let's just see what are the best attachments. Let me hop into a training match, and we'll talk about it over there. So here we are on to the next segment. Um, we are going to be. I'm going to be showing you what are my favorite ones. Um, this is the most best one for you know high controls because this one has really high control controllability but does not have damage so at range you will hit for less damage than you would with a higher damage one with the 10 millimeter rounds I think that's what it's called but um, this one is for more high high control you obviously lose a lot of mobility but you know the QK9 itself is pretty fast so uh, yeah this is the high damage one you can see it gives 60 damage and uh, con accuracy is you know like sort of okay but the controls are really low so like you're gonna have to like you know really like use the recoil you really have to like understand recoil and one of my favorite favorite ones is this one i like to use this one this is my class but um this one isn't the best one i'll show you another one after i show you the recoil patterns and all um because like i just found it out later that there is a better one um, and uh, this is my one and um, let's hop into a match of the you know the training mode the practice range let's hop into that all right so we're into the practice range and let me just quickly get this started um, I'm going to show you the low damage high control one this one is a really high control based weapon so let's just see how the controls are on this you can see right here the controls will be pretty easy you can see how the controls is pretty easy you can see the recoil pattern too it goes up into the left so like you can really like control it by pulling it downwards from the right side to the bottom you can pull it and you can see it does a lot of damage closed in it does 20 damage but with the lower 
with the lower you know the lower damage damage ammo you can actually see like it does less, less damage it does 20 damage to the body whereas it was doing to, uh, if you go more far it will do lesser damage but with the high damage one it will do more damage um, let me see at 40 range it's going to be pretty much impossible to actually you know shoot so you'll probably have to like you know tap fire to them and still you won't get them like a full kill it will be really like, you'll be like really lucky to get a full kill on it it's really hard to get a full kill from like really long ranges because of its high recoil and probably people will be shooting at you with a lot of flinch but i'll show you the high damage one um where is it yeah this one this is the high damage one let me just go back mm -hmm. and um, you can see it does 22 damage to the body and 25 damage to the chest and 22 damage to the hands and if you go on to 20 you'll see the difference that it does the same amount of damage that it was doing at 5 meters you can see it does the same amount of damage that it was doing at 10 meters and 5 meters so the damage will be you know more uh, better on this one the headshots and everything is uh, like the same pretty much the headshot multipliers and everything are the same for any attachment so it does not increase that and um, obviously at range it's going to be hard to use this one with the high damage one but obviously if you can land like at least like four or five shots you'll probably kill them this is a really skill based weapon again i'm saying it like it's a really skill based weapon that's why i'm doing it like the first we'll be doing the skill based weapons first and then we'll slowly slowly move on to the higher ones because you know like if you get the hard ones out you can do the better ones later but um you can see it's not really a good weapon for like you know the recoil but you can see the recoil control is pretty easy but if you're strafing you have to learn the strafe recoil also you can see it like it's really hard to hit targets for me right now <laughs> my fingers are really slippy but you can see it has like a really high amount of recoil right now and it's really hard to control it but um if you can get the gist of it you can really make you know a really good <coughs> gun uh, you can get really good gameplay out of it and you can really like you know burn people down into the ground but i'll show you the other loader that i was talking about which is my one of my favorites now i just found it out and it is this one the qk9 with the owc light com uh, com uh, whatever that is and the holographic sight and the mip stock owc laser tactical and the 10 millimeter rounds but if you don't really want the sights you can unequip it and you can equip like uh you know you can take the which one was it yeah this one the light uh, the recon recon like re rtc recon <laughs> ah, i just don't know how to say names and if you don't want the damage you can really just you know change it for the range of foregrip um i really want the higher damage ones because you know i'm more like of a accurate guy with the qq9 i know the gameplay in the starting wasn't that good because you know my teammate was actually bots and the other ones for real, real people it was a public match but anyway you can really just you know use the attachments that i just said before or you can use exactly mine but um, um that is it for the video guys hope you enjoyed it and um hope you learned something from it and hopefully you are gonna enjoy the gun and um, hopefully grind for the camos because i'm trying to grind for the camos right now if you haven't seen my series you can go ahead and see it anyway that's gonna do it for the video bye Darkness,